welcome or welcome back to my channel today we'll be painting tiana from the princess and the frog this is technically part of my painting over my sketches series but just like my sleeping beauty one this wasn't requested i just really wanted to do this for myself i will still be doing the requests on my next video in the series but i just wanted also to sprinkle this little side projects as i go on i think the next one is gonna be for the witcher so i'm really excited about that too the sketch for this was very plain i would say more plain than my other sketches in the series i think it's because before this i've done the sketch two times and although there wasn't anything wrong with both of those sketches i just really didn't like how i had her fit in the page so this third time i had to have had it down and so there weren't that many red marks on this sketch so after that it was just a matter of finishing off the sketch with my darker black inked pen i think the painting stage is where it gets really interesting when i first chose the colors for her skin i was really set on the colors that i wanted and also i think because of my last my struggles with the scarlet which i came prepared for this one and chose a lot of skin tone colors initially as so ideally i would mix my own colors but i knew because I struggled so much the last time. Now I chose, I think maybe three different browns just to mix the base of her skin tones with two different reds and also a gray for the highlight on one side. So yeah, I used a lot of pre-mixed colors just so I can mix her skin tone. I was really traumatized by how my WandaVision artwork <laughs> looks. Even now when I see them side by side, even though Tiana herself has a darker skin tone, I wanted, because of how dark the last one was lit, I had to almost paint them in a very similar way. So for this one, I just overcompensated with the colors I used so I don't have to mix my own so much. And also I could focus on the rest of the painting. I've been asked about the sketchbook that I used for this series or that I've been using for the past few ones. This one is called the Gilded Floral Journal and it's by Peter Popper Press. It's really not meant for paintings and what I use it for, but it's 120 GSM and it's archival paper, at least it says so in the back, but it is lined and it can't really take many loose washes of paint. So there are a few of my paintings here where the pages have warped a little bit and I don't think they're ideal for these kinds of paintings. I just really like the cover, if I'm being honest. I also just like drawing on sketchbooks that aren't meant for art because it makes you feel like there's less pressure when I draw on it. And also that my paintings and sketches on it don't have to be super pretty and they don't need to look a certain way for it to be on the sketchbook, if that makes any sense. I actually planned this first digitally on my iPad and so instead of the actual screen grab from the movie, I in these first few layers and I was looking at my 
digital sketch just so I can figure out the colors for it. And the colors are really what I wanted to plan out ahead of time because while I really love the movie and the scenes are beautiful, what I remembered when I first watched the movie, and this was when I was a kid basically, so I didn't really know anything about color theory and all that, but one of my clearer memories about watching the movie the first time was how underwhelmed I was in the transformation. And I really couldn't understand why, because every time I see her on Pinterest and I see her dress, it's beautiful. And I do think that a lot of it was because even though Tiana didn't really grow up being a princess, and a lot of what we loved about her is that she worked hard for what she eventually got in the end. There were already a couple of times in the movie that she was wearing beautiful dresses. And I'm also really partial to that blue, almost Cinderella-esque dress that she wore in the first part of the movie. I love that icy blue on her skin tone. And there was also another scene where she was wearing a white dress with gold accents. So you already got to see her wearing these beautiful dresses. And so I think that was one thing, but there is one big reason why I wasn't that sold on the final dress and I think that's because of where she was and the background in the scene. As much as I really love everything about her outfit, I didn't like how the colors were too similar to the background and it almost feels like they were blending in and I don't know, I just didn't really, I just wanted her to sparkle more and to stand out more I guess. But I did watch the movie again before I painted this and I didn't remember it being so emotional. <laughs> I got emotional a couple of times watching this movie again as an adult. But I think I appreciated the scene more and her dress more. But I also still feel the same way where I wish that the background colors were a little bit more different than her outfit. So for this one, I actually had to redo the background a couple of times. The first few times I added a lot more of the red colors in there because her dress was going to be green. I wanted to start with a very red underpainting so I can build off of that and also just make the background um, a lot more different from the colors that she was wearing. And also even though I had my iPad and I could plan things ahead while I was going, I still had to redo the background still a couple of times because when I went to actually painting them, the colors either looked too close to her skin tone or too close to her dress, so ended up adding a lot of blue accents to the background too. And once I knew the colors that I wanted to work with for the background, it became a lot easier to figure out what I really wanted to do with it. So in the end, I actually ended up choosing another scene from the movie, which I think was beautiful. And even though it's in the same environment, it was just lit in a different way that I think would make her dress pop out more. So the things in the background now are just elements from the other parts of the environment, but just arranged in a way that would make her veil and her dress stand out. Now I'm going to take this time to talk about why I love the movie so much. When this came out, I was only in the fifth grade, I think, because I remember the song that Neo wrote for it, uh, funnily enough. 
it was one of my favorite songs growing up but this is one of the movies that made me love romance so much and it wasn't necessarily because of the romance even though i would say that it's one of the better romance stories from disney i love it because tiana is someone who is a great role model although i will say that people of color especially don't have to be role models in film I feel like there's that burden that's placed on us when it's a person of color as the main lead in a film. But um, I really love that you can admire Tiana and also enjoy her story. There's discussion in that a lot of people didn't really like that she spent most of the movie being a frog. But I don't know, I, I thought it was really charming that they fell in love both as frogs because both of them are already so attractive that I really liked how they fell in love as these frogs. It almost feels pure that it happened when they were frogs and a lot of the romance developed during that time. So that's one of the main things that I really love about the movie is just the romance. Today I read mostly romance books and I think it's because of movies like The Princess and the Frog and and maybe Tangled, that I grew up liking romance books. I also really love the other characters in this movie. I love the friendship between Tiana and her best friend. And I was initially going to draw a scene where she was not in this princess dress, but she was holding the crown. And I think that was when she was next to her best friend. Just because I really would have liked to make that crown sparkle while she's holding it in this mostly desaturated colored clothes, but I didn't want to end up making an artwork that isn't her shining moment. I feel like Tiana deserves to be painted in her happiest moment. I also played around with the idea of having Naveen in the scene too, so just so it's their whole wedding basically, but I also didn't like how it was wearing the same colored clothes as her. And I already had that little gripe with Tiana wearing similar colors to the background, so I just decided to draw just her in her shining moment. Once I had that background, I felt like I knew then that I was going to be happy with this piece because it really was what I was missing before I could add the, the sparkles that the outfit needed. Once the background was the exact values and had the exact colors that I needed them to have, it was then time for me to officially finish off the piece. So I'm really happy with how this painting went. I know it's very soon, but I really love when I open my sketchbook and I see it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just it just makes me so happy. I also really love that there weren't any major bumps in the road while I was painting her. I also think I got lucky when I was adjusting the colors on her face because usually that's when it goes wrong, when I'm painting skin tones and I want them to be darker. Sometimes I would give in and glaze over the whole thing like I did with my Wednesday paint over. But for this one, I had I just meticulously overlaid the darker colors on some parts of her face while at the same time smoothing out some of the harsher brush strokes. And I was lucky with how I mixed and painted the colors because once they dried they just dried to be in the exact value that I needed them to be and so when I finished with her face I really just love how smooth it is because I know that I could have easily messed it up and I didn't. <laughs> Finally everything was right with painting the skin tones and I'm really happy with how she looks. I'm so happy that I ended up with, with a painting that I'm really proud of because I really wanted to do her justice and I was really scared that I wouldn't. 
I also think the final touch up was making her lips look more red because I just also love how she wore makeup in the movie and so I didn't want to forget that in this scene. Also I'm looking at the painting right now that it's done and I just really like how the colors dried. This painting just makes me so happy weirdly. I hope you guys like it as much as I do but yeah that will be it for this one. Thank you guys for watching and again if you want to see more real-time sketches and painting videos they are up on my Patreon and I want to thank my patrons for supporting me and I want to thank you guys for watching and I will be seeing you guys again.